Hi guys, I'm Bar, and in this video I want to show you guys the first 10 things that I change on a clean installation of Windows 10. So to start off, I want an icon for this PC on my desktop. To do this, you right click the desktop, you click Personal Settings, here you go to Teams, and here you click on Settings for Desktop Icons. Here you only have to check this PC, and you have this PC icon on your desktop. Next thing on the list is customizing the taskbar. I don't like it when icons are this small and even worse when Windows combines multiple documents. Uh, call me old fashioned but I like it this way when it's not combined. Also, there are programs, or apps if you want to call them, pinned to the taskbar. Let's unpin all of them and have a cleaner look. Also the task view I don't use, right mouse click and you can deselect it here. At last, the search button is unnecessary really. You can get rid of this one easy in the context menu by right clicking the taskbar and choose hide. I say it's unnecessary because to use the search function you can always just click start and start typing. Next to choose is what system tray icons you want to see. You can do this by right clicking the taskbar and you go to properties. Next to the system tray you click the customize button. From here you click on select what icons appear on the taskbar. Here you pick what icons you want always to be visible in the system tray. You can also go on screen back and choose turn system icons on or off and here you can even hide the battery or the clock if you want. Also the action center can be uh, hidden from here, but I always put it on quiet hours so I don't get the annoying pop-ups, but if I want I can check the messages here. Okay, now it's time to customize the start menu. Well, mostly get rid of all the clutter here. You can unpin the apps from start and this is what I'm going to do with all of them. After unpinning all the apps, I can just add the apps that I want on the start menu. For now, I'm just going to pin Chrome and Firefox by right clicking them and select pin to start. After you did this, you can make groups of apps and you can add titles to these groups of apps. So now it's time to clean the left side of the start menu. To do this, you right click the desktop, you go to personal settings, you go to start and here you turn off all the settings in the list. In the bottom, you can select what folder should be displayed and I only choose settings for the most clean look. Let's see what happens and ah, whee, it's empty. It's a much cleaner look, I'd say. Now I want to show you quickly what other settings I change. I always go to folder options and change the privacy settings for the quick access. This way the quick access only shows the folders I wanted to show and does not add recently used folders that can be different anytime I use the PC. Then I adjust the quick access itself and add or remove the folders I want. For now, for this particular laptop, I want to have the music and videos folder in here too. Now I'm here, I always change the hiding extension setting. I go to folder options and I go to view and I deselect the hide extensions for known file types. 
I do this because I always want to know what kind of file is a .pdf or a .png or an .exe file. And the last but not least thing is a simple change. I want a confirmation when I delete something. So right click the bin and hit properties. And here you can select if you want a confirmation before something is thrown in the bin. So those were the first 10 things that change in a freshly installed Windows 10. Thank you for watching this simple tweak video. If you want to see more and more advanced tweaking on Windows 10, check out the rest of my videos.